The firestorm has hit Steelport with force. This is Ellie Ball One calling, welcoming you to Phoenix Pro Wrestling Firestorm from the Free Count Casino here in Steelport. And in spite of recent events here in Steelport, this show is going ahead. I'll learn a little, little bit more to that in a moment. We're going to run down the card, ladies and gentlemen, for Phoenix Pro Wrestling's first CPV. We're kicking this off with the team battle. Incinero against Fados, Hitmon Lee against Black Dwarf, Dragonite against Zangief. And the survivors match if needed. That could be a handicap match either way. Or if one team gets a clean sweep, there'll be no need. Cage death match, escape only. Ponyville against the team of Sonya Blade. Cabby White, Chung Lee, and Ryoko Matai. First of our titles, the Rage in the Cage title. James P. Sullivan, the champion. Crescent Moon, the challenger. If you haven't seen one of the Rage in the Cage matches, they are a unique match type. We'll then have one of our reserve matches. I'll receive more information as we get closer to those matches. However, the reserve matches are being contested under different rules. They're being contested on a round system. 12 rounds. 3 minutes each. Phoenix Pro Wrestling Tag Team titles on the line. Knuckles and Silver defending against Zavok and Sephiroth. And I have also informed this is going to be a Tornado Tag Elimination match. A little bit extra there. Another match in the reserves. Yeah, it'll be interesting to come to those matches because I've not been informed actually what's going to be happening with them, other than that they'll be contested under a different under a different set of rules from what Phoenix Pro Wrestling is used to. The Landmine Deathmatch. Fire and Ice implode. Scorpion against Sub-Zero. Phoenix Pro Wrestling Women's Title. We'll see Dark Angel defend against Aqua. Interesting to see those two clash. Another match in the reserves. And then following this one, it's probably going to be one of the more important matches of the night. Four against four. Elimination match. Survivor and Xenomorph against the consortium members. Ogumon, Faster Heart, Mewtwo. And someone standing in on behalf of Thalvadam. If Sabulba wins, the consortium must submit part of their shares to him. If the consortium wins, they can physically interject whenever they feel necessary. Next here, Rain Allen against Mr. Clean. The winner becomes the number one contender for the world title at Sword of the Highlands, which will be Phoenix Pro Wrestling's next CPD. And the loser is fired. All or nothing for Ray Allen and Mr. Clean. Another match in the reserves. And then after that one, this is what I'm scared for. Steel Porto, Johnny Gat. 
against the truly monstrous, the truly haunting, the real monster of CAW at the moment. That is Winnie the Pooh. Phoenix Pro Wrestling Japan heavyweight title on the line. Iron Man defending against Carnage. There's two at each other's throat leading up to this. Then we have a reserves battle royal. Which I have been informed is being contested with pinfall only rules. And nothing else from there. And then, the main event tonight. Pinfall only, two out of three falls. For the Phoenix Pro Wrestling World Championship. Lord Champa defending against Reptile. Steel Port is on tender hooks for tonight. It's also been on tender hooks for the last couple of days following what the authorities here have labelled as a terrorist attack on the Saints nightclub. We do know that a group associated with the banished claimed responsibility. So there is extra security for tonight's event and I will tell you the truth, I'm kind of on tender hooks about this entire night but the consortium have agreed that the show must go ahead and you'd think that they'd actually be more focused on their 4-4 elimination match but this had to take priority, decided whether or not this was the right thing to do. They have decided it is. This night is going ahead. And no doubt the members of the consortium are going to be. They're going to be chopping it a bit to try and put some Bulba's argument down. But anyway, let's focus on the start of the night. The team battle. The Pokemon Alliance. Formed out of the ashes of the Brotherhood. to pick up a shock victory over these three in six-man tag action. So they're going to look for some retribution here. You see Zangief. You see Black Dwarf. And here is Thanos. First fall of this matchup is Incineroar against Thanos. The second fall, Hitmonlee against Black Dwarf. The third fall, Dragonite against Zangief. Fight! And if there is at least one survivor from each team, then there is a survivor's match. I'm, I've been told there's no time limit on these matches. So... If there is a survivor's match, it will be a handicap situation for one of the teams. Or, you could have the case that all three from one team win their fall, in which case then there's no need for a survivor's match. So if all members of the Pokemon Alliance win, that's it, they win the team battle. Chunk slam there from the top! Swing and missing there. They're trying to keep each other up. Just outmaneuver one another constantly. Bring it there and... Of course, it's worth, worth um, pointing out, but there hasn't really been much connection between Mewtwo and the members of the Pokemon Alliance, despite the fact that... Sinroar, Hitmonlee, Dragonite, 
They were... They were part of the Brotherhood Japanese unit. Since the... Since the disbanding of the Brotherhood, there hasn't been anything really between the Pokemon Alliance and Mewtwo himself. Mewtwo, of course, he's tried to remain... Yes, obviously, Mewtwo wanted to try and remain out of this in terms of being an authority figure here. Of course, been pushed to the edge by Sebulba's antics and those of the Xenomorph. Worth mentioning that the Xenomorph are not under contract with Phoenix Pro Wrestling. That's why Mewtwo did decide to interject in that moment. The court case ensued. The judge threw the case out, didn't make a ruling on it. So Bulba eventually goaded the consortium into a, into a match. That 4 on 4 elimination match that we will see later tonight. Ow! Take that Thanos just running straight through in Sinraw there. And close like a down and drops an elbow. Of course, Velvadar, aka the Arbiter. Unable to compete for the consortium and. Well, Blaziken, we know all about his condition. But Velvadarm has found someone to stand in on his behalf. <laughs> we will see that later tonight. And that match could determine the future of Phoenix Pro Wrestling. Shot there. And they go for a cover off of that. Only a one. And there you got the other members of each team at ringside. And once again, Thanos running straight through in Sinra. Now look at a steel chair, swing and miss. Oh, but a chunk slam. And there is a Sinra still fighting. Nicely done. I have to say, as the main commentator for CXWI, I really don't know what to expect. Give up. Give up. From what to the consortium have created with Phoenix Pro Wrestling. Oh, Christ! That was a big punch. I'm getting my first real sample here. Of course, Firestar would normally have the responsibilities of commentary for... Phoenix Pro Wrestling as he is a 20% owner. That body drop. But because of his match tonight, that responsibility has been given to me. Oh man! Ah! My cross! Zero though! Still... Still in the fight! Of course, it's another thing with our main event tonight. It was meant to be, it was looking set to be, Lord Beerus defending the world title against Reptile. But. He would take a. Lord Beerus would get KO'd in a title match with Lord Champa. As a result, Lord Champa now the world champion, defending here against Reptile. Last body! One, two. Oh, that was close! And ah, dropping down in Sinro there. Sinro still fighting. We do know that Lord Beerus has recovered from that from that KO, but he is not here tonight. <laughs> Big boot! And look at this now, we're gonna cover off that big boot! That's it! Thanos! Secures the win!
saw it there from Trader Blows, that big boot was what Thanos needed. So we know that Thanos is at least assured into the match of survivors if there is a need to have it. And Sin Rob will not have that luxury. So the Pokemon Alliance are already down 1 0. We now have our next, our next ball, Black Dwarf against Hitmonlee. So Hitmonlee will have to try and look to, I'm trying to look to even this team battle now. Black Dwarf will look to try and send his team on the route to a clean sweep. And even if he, of course, even if he does win, Dragonite and Zangief will still have to have their match. Of course, him on there. You see them. Ducking and weaving and landing quick kicks. Of course, Hitmonlee is a kick master. However, there's no doubt, Black, there's no doubt Black Dwarf can overpower him. I'm going to admit something here. I really don't know a lot about Black Dwarf. <coughs> All I know is that he's an ally to Thanos. I'll check this out. And I've counted. Oh, a good counter there by Hitmonlee. And the duck can weave out the way and just gets nice whipped down. Whilst I mentioned it earlier, the match that I am most scared for tonight. We are here in Steelport. Johnny Gat's home turf. And he is having to go one on one. In a barbed wire death match against the bloodthirsty monster. A true stuff of nightmares. Don't let that cartoon smile fool you. Behind those black dead eyes is pure evil. And that is Winnie the Pooh. Yes. Under the corner again. It's galore. Come on, Lee using trying to use everything in his power to now. He's black door down. Look at this now. A clover leaf. Not got the submission yet. Into the corner. And that's a Haluva kick. Again, Black Dwarf. Not allowing Hitmon Lee to get the edge just yet. See no low kicks. Give up. Nicely done. Kick down to so count off it. Of course, all the titles of Phoenix Pro Wrestling on the line for this first CPV. All the new promotion born out of the ashes of KIJW. One, two. 
Randall Boggs running the company into the ground tying it all up in bankruptcy the bankruptcy that would be relieved by Arbitus U2 Firestar Hart Laser Kid and the uh, Takahashi Nakamura's that of course being Ogumon and Gabumon look at this now Black Dwarf ow aerial big boot and his ankle didn't come crushing down like he did with Sid these chair shots now ah, straight over the back Well, he's still fighting. One, two. And two count off of that though. And now out, out of the ring. Look at Thanos. Thanos is stepping in. He's not getting into an argument with the ref. Back off there, landing a spear on him on Lee. Now Hitmonlino shots there. Hitmonlino's going to try and get back into the ring. Get himself away from... Away from Thanos and Zangief. Look at this. Thanos still trying to get involved. That power slam. So again now those shots. Again, just landing those. Again, just Thanos landing kick after kick. The referee again is going to have to step in. I don't know if that's a hit or lead out finally back in. He's going to feel hurt. Oh, God. Ah, running power bomb. One, two, three. And that is now two falls. Thanos and Black Dwarf both securing wins and that means the Pokemon Alliance they are now completely reliant on Dragonite to beat Zangief to try and keep the Alliance in this in this team battle oh, oh. Oh, there was the sort of the Dwarf Star Bomb I mean, Thanos was the one that did the work and did the extra damage on the outside. Black Dwarf just picked up the scraps. And now Thanos and Black Dwarf. Fight. They've scored the win. If Zangief wins here, it's a clean sweep. Dragonite has to win to keep the Pokemon Alliance in this team battle. And even if he does, he'll be the only person through the Survivor's Battle. It would be a handicap match of the Dragonite against Thanos and Black Dwarf. If Dragonite can survive that geef. You don't get a tougher fighter than Zangief. Dragonite is going to have to fight every single way to overpower Zangief, but that is not an easy task. Look at Zangief putting him in a headlock. Dragonite able to power his way out. In our front of the corner. Dragon, I try to warm this crowd up. Ah, once again. Suplex in front of the outside, and you notice that Thanos didn't interject. I think he probably thinks Dragonite would get more of an offense in than Hitmon Lee would.
Oh man, look at this now from Zangief and Dragonite. Trading European uppercuts. That DDT there. And now that high angle Boston. Can't get the submission. Again, if Zangief wins this fall, then his team win in a shutout. A clean, a clean sweep, a whitewash, whatever you want to call it. Dragonite has to win to keep the Pokemon Alliance in the team battle. Oh, there's Bob Nelson! He's got a roll up in! Just a one. Ow! Nice! Modified backbreaker! Dragonite! Oh, he's caught on that one! Big suplex there. But look at this Dragonite still! Dragonite throwing everything there, moves out of the way of whatever Zangief was trying to do, but Zangief, oh my word, Step for a power bomb! One, two. And Dragonite kicks out! A lot of slaps! Here they come again! Oh my! Zangief responds with a discus clothesline! Mission. Can't get him to submit though. Look at that. Dragonite again. Snapping the overloading daylight out of them. Goes behind. Backslide. Two. Can't get the fall. Dragonite though, you see that. Dragonite's actually really holding Zangief down. Figure four leg lock. Can't get him there. Go by Janet Suplex. One, two. Get a kick out. And, and Zangief replies with one of his own. And Dragonite kicks out. And oh my god, Dragonite again a German Suplex. One. Back and forth with the Germans! Uh, oh, yes. oh look at this now! Zangief with some slacks! Uh, and a splash from the top! One, two. Dragonite kicks out again! Look at this again! He's got that three four leg lock in! No rope breaks here. And now look at this one. Small package now by, by Dragonite. And kick out. I'm going to miss. And again, I think Dragonite, he's set on that figure four. He said I'm trying to get Zangief to tap. Locus are trying to get a submission. A splash there by Zangief. And again kicks out. You're gonna have to feel that Dragonite's gonna be worn out. Dragon screw from the top. How appropriate for the dragon type. Can you utilize the dragon screw? Oh boy, Zangief. Oh my word. What? Dragonite! Oh my! God, I thought he had it there. Oh god. Ah, tornado bomb. One, two, the cover. And Dragonite again kicks out. Oh boy, and we're back to trading uppercuts. And 
Dragon Eye with a drop kick. And the slaps. Can't capitalize though. Oh, look, there's no Dragon Eye with another smoke pick on him! Jesus, fuck! That really caught me off. That was, uh... That was sudden. Well, it means we are going to have a Survivor's match. Dragon Eye is going to have to go all over again against Thanos and Black Dwarf. And Dragon Eye is going to have to do it all on his own. It is a handicap situation. You really are not going to fancy Dragon Knight's chances, especially considering he's just got, got off of all that with Zangief. But that is exactly what that is exactly what Dragonite's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to try and survive Thanos and Black Dwarf. Fight! All by himself. Still got hit on lane and soon at ringside. Yeah. I don't know what. You have to imagine it's not gonna be a Marcel Dragon Eye is going to have to rely on all of his own strength. And you see he's... You see that Dragon Eye has... He's actually strategizing a little bit. He's trying to focus on... Submission! Look at that. He's focusing on that key lock on Thanos. Two collide. And Thanos decides to tag in Black Dwarf. Yeah. Ow! Thanos there getting that shot in and... Ow! Oh! Dragon Screw again! Look at this now, you see? Yeah, I think Incineroar just threw in that steel chair there. And I'm above it. Broken out of it. And a spear. And now that global leaf again by Black Dwarf. Yeah. And this now. Dragon Eye invading everything. Yeah. See here, Dragon Eye is yeah. not allowing himself to be. Not allowing himself to be taken lightly. He is going for this. He's going to have to go full throttle with his attack. Tag raid again. And this is the advantage that Thanos and Black Dwarf are going to have. Even if they don't have Zangief. You see he's still there at ringside. Quick to get out of that. You can tell that Dragon Eye has a, a set mindset. Trips out there and trying to the outside. Trying to get the crowd of steel port behind him. Yes. Swing and miss on that one. Oh, it doesn't miss that spear. Back, oh! 
Hanging out there. Trying to tackle it down, but Michael moves out of the way, but can't move out of the way of that one. Slaps! He follows up with a kick and Black Dwarf getting himself out of there. Oh, Thanos immediately! Gets put in the key lock! Black Dwarf making the stop to it though. Well, this is actually quite amazing. But, but um, Dragonite actually getting a good amount of offense in. He is not allowing that. Oh my word! Right, building some space again. And again for that key lock! Again, Thanos getting himself out of that. Oh god, and now this is where it, this is where the advantage comes in. Double teams. And both of them swinging this snap. And but and look at this now, and that was the addition of Dragon Sleep up. Once again, Dragonite pulling out all the Dragon offense. And you see, oh my word! That strength there by Black Dwarf. Oh, there's Sandos. Oh, he gets Dragon Screwed down. And then put that key lock again, but it's all the meanwhile Black Dwarf can just relax in the ring. And another matter because right now Thanos is actually getting, he's getting decked on the outside. And I doing everything to try and ow! Then you that one and slaps. Mess again and can just scoop slamming it down. And it's all the meanwhile Black Dwarf is just relaxing in the ring. Oh look at this now, Thanos! Dragonite on that one. And now, finally, Dragonite gets back in there. And again, still fighting. And tagged out of Thanos. Uh oh, double team. Now! <laughs> Thanos. Where is then a Dragonite not going down! Dragon Suplex! Broken up by Black Dwarf! And oh god! Chuck Slam! Oh look at this! Dragonite still! Is. He is still not giving anything. He's still not giving anything in this fight. Again, that key lock. Nice shot there. Get that key lock! Dragonite! 
Oh, he's gone longer with... With Thanos and... I'm glad what they did with... They took him to beat Zangief! Dragonite not giving an inch at all! Alone in this won't be damned! <laughs> Ready to get out! I mean, Dragonite to the outside and... I don't think Thanos and... Black Dwarf could quite believe what's happening here! You know, maybe thinking they'd be able to take down Dragonite quickly, but... Dragonite not, not, not letting him have it at all! Look, it's Keylock again! Knee <laughs> drop to the back! God, I mean, if Dragonite pulls this off, there will be even more humiliating. Sharpshooter! Give up! Sharpshooter in it! But he broke it out of it. Oh, look at that! Oh! Thanos getting it again, and there's a. He has a neckbreaker. Steel Shadow oh, with a head! Oh. Now tag Thanos oh. back in! Now, oh, once again, the momentum has shifted. Sit on there. And Dragonite might be in trouble. Or oh, maybe not. Oh, cover immediately broken up by Black Dwarf. Look at Ow! Looks like we've about to hit that dragon suplex. It just gets cracked over the back of the head. This Dragonite. Still try to fight! That is a big boot! That is still! Oh God! Oh my Dragonite still! Look everything in his power! Is that modified backbreaker again? Dragon Sleeper! Broken up by Black Dwarf. And cracked over the back of the head with a chair. And that's Thanos with a chair as well. Oh my god, Dragonite still has fighting him. Trying to pump up Steelport. Roll up! One, two. Only a two. Oh god. Power slam! Oh man, Black Dwarf! Axe handle! And I, I don't know what he was doing there, but... He had something in mind. Work out though. Look at this dragon, I'm still not giving anything. Oh my, ah! Thanos, shutting it down again. Neck breaker. Now that iron claw, that's it! And Austin finally putting Dragonite down for the, for the submission. But it took them... It took them longer to take down just Dragonite with the two of them. They took them to take down Incineroar and Hitmon Lee individually. Can't take anything away from Dragonite on that one. He fought his ass off. But in the end, Thanos, Black Dwarf, and Zangief get a little bit of redemption for their loss. For their loss to the Pokemon Alliance. 
on the road here. Well, people, we're now going to move on to the cage death match, escape only. Ponyville against the team of Sonya Blade, Cabby White, Chung Lee, and Ryuko Matai. Again, I pray I'm pronouncing that correctly. ever since uh, ever since the rebirth here for Phoenix Pro Wrestling the ponies have been they have been making an impact at the expense of the majority of the women's division the women's division have put up a strong front here for Ponyville, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, Twilight Sparkle, and Rainbow Dash. Of course, we've also seen Rarity and Rainbow Dash in CXWI recently. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is a cage death match. The only way to win is by escape. And it's every member of your team that must escape. You can't just have one person escape. Every member of a team has to escape. And the ponies will look to continue their hold on. Ponies will look to try and continue their hold of domination. But the threat that Phoenix Pro Wrestling's women have put up, they'll look to stop it. Boy, there is a lot of stuff going on there. I'm going to struggle to keep up with this, but I'll do the best I can. Uh, these now by Chuck Lee on the rarity. Again, submissions won't count in this one. You just have to escape. Even though this match does have a referee, it's really not much of a point to it. Fixed there by Chuck Lee. The CXWI Women's Champion. Yeah. Shots there by Sonya. Well, I guess the main strategy for these teams is figuring out when is the best time to escape. Because remember, once you escape, you're out of the match, but you're also leaving your team behind. a major thing to look out for for when someone actually goes for the escape. Of course, you know, you can't have these cage matches. There is the option for a regular fall to pinpoint the best all that. But it was decreed by Algumon. But it will be escape only. And it's going to be a matter of um, team loyalty, I guess you could call that. You just, you just try and go for the escape quickly, but leave your team behind. Would you make sure all the other participants are out before going for it? Escape as a team or escape as individuals? Land there by Rarity. Double team there by Rarity and Pinkie Pie. I like Sparkle. Trying to put Chung Lee in submission. Got cut off there by Matai. Get a slam by Rarity. Oh, 
this submission now by Maria Kumatoi. Won't count in this matchup, but again, you do the damage. That's why he's going to be the first to go for it. I think he might go up after us. Oh Christ, but there's Sonya. Ayoko Mato is out. I think he might force back in. And yeah. Look at this, Udama. Sonya and now both of them trying to escape. And they're both going to. Yeah. That's on it. Three on two in the ring. Now oh, Mato now. A shot at Pinkie Pie, she got out. And you got Rarity and Twilight Sparkle still in there. And you got Rainbow Dash still in there. Chung Lee and Cabby White still in there. And the advantage in the rig is for Ponyville. And again, this is what I was talking about. Trying to escape quickly. <laughs> Leave your team behind! Yeah. Tammy White and Chug Lee! Oh, they're gonna be more- Oh, look at this! Cammy White! Cammy yeah. White now! Cammy White's made it out! Leaving just Chug Lee behind! Chug Lee's the only one left to escape now for the- for her team, however, she's now got three ponies to deal with. Yeah. So far she's dealing with them. Or was she? <laughs> Ow! Yeah. And now, double team there! And Rarity now! Rarity's out! It's two on one. Twilight Sparkle now gonna go for the escape. Yeah. Ah, and back drop there. Twilight Sparkle out. And now Rainbow Dash. Chung Lee's up. That's gonna be too late though. Ponyville yeah. have secured the win. Only they'll securing the win there and well, I'll just give you my analysis as I see it. I think Cammy White there made a mistake. Leaving Chug Lee alone with three of the ponies. That mistake allowed Ponyville to pick up the win. Well we're gonna dismantle that cage and go over to another point of the free count casino where the rage in the cage structure is ready James P. Sullivan set to defend against Crescent Moon Crescent Moon winning a tournament to become the number one contender for James P. Sullivan's rage in the cage title Well, this structure, very different from the conventional ring. It's five rounds, five minutes each. Of course, after this, ladies and gentlemen, we stick to a round system with the first of our reserves matches. And those are 12 rounds of three minutes each. Reserves competing under a very different rule system from what 
Phoenix Pro Wrestling's main roster competes under. Well, it's an interesting confrontation here. Sully. And it's the axe handle there. But I mean, there are some things that Crescent Moon is capable of that are beyond belief. And it's here where he really shows it. Of course, this structure, this type of environment, very different from a conventional match of Phoenix Pro Wrestling. If you look for either submission or knockout. Nicely done! Sally there using that weight advantage. Look at this. Whoa! Look at that! That's how... That's how good Crescent Moon is. <laughs> and now look at this. <laughs> Training blows and look at this right now from Crescent Moon. <laughs> and just, ow! Both can I kicks there. Crescent Moon getting the better. Kick to the back of the head. Oh, he's kicking him down and dead. Up, calling for that suplex, and that's the end of round one. Right, we can come here round two. Yeah. Two of them. Oh, there's that unorthodox offense. Oh, yeah, and this is where Crescent Moon he starts to get going. Some of the offense you see him perform is insane. Look at those kicks. There's not that submission. I'll get Sully to tap. Standing drop kick. Yeah. Now, swing a missile that back end. Look at that handspring to counter. Oh, but Sully quickly utilizes that power game and now a high angle Boston. Give up. And now, there's a move response with the submission. High angle Cloverleaf. Can't get the submission. Now again. Seems like these two more eager to try and go for the submission on one another. Oh! They throw! That's the offense! The Crescent Moon has in his repertoire. Yeah. Look at that there! You see Sully not giving it so easy to Crescent Moon. Crescent Moon does get his offense in, but Sully is quick to respond. Oh man, that's the monster mash! And, oh wait! He's out! That sudden! Sully finds the KO! We didn't even get into the third round of that one! Well, the first title match tonight. And it's a retain. The James P. Sullivan. And in my eyes, a bit of an upset. Sully retains the title. We're going to return to the main stage. Of the Free Count Casino here in Steelport. As we have the first of our reserves matches. And I've been informed that this one is a reigniting of one of the more unusual rivalries of KIJW.
Two individuals would just seem to be at each other's throats all the time. Kratos. The God of War. Up against this guy. Kid Muscle. Throughout the period of KIJW, you see it's Red Shoes officiating. Throughout KIJW's history, these two just seem to be at each other's throats all the time. Well, they're at each other's throats here again for this matchup. Now remember, the reserves tonight, they are competing on a system of 12 three-minute rounds. Win can come by pinfall, submission, or knockout. It's very different from what Phoenix Pro Wrestling is used to. But from what I understand, this was actually an experiment that Laser Kid suggested. It was something that Blaze Kid had suggested. Whoa, whoa. In a consortium meeting. And again, this was after Blazerkin's incident with Isakov. So, despite the fact that Blazerkin is now crippled from the neck down, he still is remaining as active as he can be. In the running and organizing of Phoenix Pro Wrestling. Which is a commandment of. To his character. This first round is over. Hoi. Round two. Oh. Oh. Nice backdrop there. And into a key lock. I've seen Dragonite pull a few of those out. I think everyone else will see some success with, tonight with that move. Or at least try and utilize it. Of course, we have, um, I think it's four more of these reserve matches, plus a reserve battle royal tonight. The runners of Phoenix Pro Wrestling on their reserves and they've fallen on them before in the um, the tournament series that they had unfortunately of course a, a feed issue would cause some of those tournaments to not even be broadcast or only to be half broadcast as a result I mean this event was meant to take place at the Tokyo Dome but they then cancelled it after that fiasco and those tournaments only came about because Ogumon got drunk. It's kind of strange because I've never actually known Ogumon to get drunk. But there you go. Good muscle again, that key lock. Kratos. Oh boy, that stops there and now. That display of power and kick out. And this now elbow drop by Kid Muscle. Trying to count. Three, four. And again, it's not just being back to your feet. You need to be up and no. ready to fight. Oh Christ! That was right on the back of the neck. Up down and into an armbar now! Kratos might be in trouble now! One, two. Kick out! Uh oh! Kratos! Ah! Shot slam! Now I'm gonna try and cover again! And 
to the outside and Kratos now going to try and buy some time for himself. Need not matter, it's almost the end of oh. round three. Oh Christ! Close line, but it's the end of the round. Kid Muscle there, Wait. saved by the bell. Now Kratos can try and turn this in his favour. Oh. Or maybe not. Pile driver! Hey, Kid Muscle! I count. Look at this. Oh, God punch. One, two, three again. Four. Okay, muscle. Again, he gets a five, so they're even. They're even as far as this round is concerned. Let's have done that. Oh man, they're both dazed. Now, can he go faster? There is that legendary can he go faster? But Thanos up and only getting an extra count there. Well, Kim Muscle now going to feel like he's in control that kick out again. And that move, legendary! Into his father! One, two, Thanos only getting... Not Thanos, Kratos getting up after only just one extra count. To a count of six, and there's again the... So now in round five, we're almost halfway in terms of rounds. There's a gut punch! I've got a feeling we might not go to full twelve. Four! So he goes... So Kid Muscle actually goes from five to four. He's gone... He's gone down a count. Oh, man. Again, a pile driver. Uh. Yeah, I have to think that Kid Muscle now could fancy his chances. But Thanos won't want to let that happen. I keep saying Thanos. Kratos. Why do I keep saying? Why do I keep saying Thanos? Why are the actual fuck? Oh, look at this now! Whoa! Nice roll up by Kid Muscle! Got him! Kid Muscle caught Kratos! Look at that roll up there! In the fifth round, one minute forty-nine. Kid Muscle secures the win over Kratos. Oh wait a moment! Ow! Oh, Kratos not taking it well. The Kid Muscle. We now got a brawl on our hands! And as unusual as it sounds, in Phoenix Pro Wrestling, the brawls have rules! You can win a brawl by submission, by knockout, or by throwing your opponent over the top! Again, you wouldn't think that a brawl would have rules, but it does in Phoenix Pro Wrestling. Look at this, the Thanos! Why do I keep calling him Thanos? Kratos! I'm gonna get it up! Mission and Kratos, obviously! Not taking this defeat now to a rival. And now he wants to rip his goddamn head off. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Ow! Uh oh, Kratos. 
back body drop. I tried a leg drop there, that didn't work. If I were Kid Muscle, I'd just try to get him out of there as soon as possible. Now, shoulder break up. This kid muscle not gonna let whoa, whoa. not gonna let Kratos get all of that. Oh, seven. Trading now. Kratos getting the better of now. He's going to look to cave Kid Muscle's face in. Kid Muscle not going to let it happen. There's a short arm lariat. And another one. Now Crater. Oh no wait. Ow! Dang Kid Muscle. Kratos falls back there. Whoa, whoa! Kid Muscle! With his octopus stretch! Kratos able to power out! Oh god! Chuck Slam! And now, tosses Kid Muscle out! Well, it's Kid Muscle who won the match. Kratos winning the brawl. Well. That's just an example of what the reserves are going to be showing tonight. And I've got a feeling that we're going to be seeing Kratos and Kid Muscle again in the future. Phoenix Pro Wrestling Tag Team Titles now up for grabs. The challengers first, the one winged angel Sephiroth and the Zeti Zavak. Of course, we see we see these two team up. We see XWI and the team up here in Phoenix. As they look to take the tag team titles from these two. Tag Team Champions Knuckles and Silva. Of course, Silva came into the Phoenix Pro Wrestling roster. into the roster as um, a replacement of course, Kn of course Knuckles was the tag team champion with Tails of course after Tails took a shotgun blast to his foot he had to vacate his side the titles were actually vacated Knuckles and Silver would win the titles back in a title tournament here we go, Tornado Tag, Elimination Rules. Right, there's Sephiroth and Silva going at it, Knuckles and, and Zavok going at it. And refereeing this one is Deadpool. Of course, I've mentioned it. 
think I've mentioned it before, but the stink face may be banned in new CXWI. But here, no, it's still allowed. Oh, yeah, I think some of the stuff that Zavok does here is actually is actually worse than some of the things he does in CXWI. He doesn't even need to use the corner to give you the stink face. He do it to you just on the floor. Yeah, once again. Copy his full weight that it! Someone flows like that. And again, that! Again, Zavok! But I'm getting names wrong left, right, and center in this. It is well up now by Silva! I'm getting a one off there. Now, Knuckles and, Knuckles and Zavok trading flows back and forth. Silva and Sephiroth going at it on the other side. Now, Silver and Sephiroth trading blows. There is roll up by Knuckles. Only a one off it. And you see how Knuckles has mainly got his sights set on Zavik. He's mostly ignoring Sephiroth. Silver trying to keep his focus on Sephiroth. Nice trip that. Now, only now is Knuckles turning his attention to Seth Roth and double team there failed and oh, shots. Now, you know, Silver now with a jackknife hold, but only a one off there. It is covered now by, by Knuckles. And a two off there. Now, whoa, swing and miss on that one. Another punch to the gut. Kick to the face of Sephiroth. Three and Sephiroth, a little bit of that dark magic. Double team there. Give up. Uh-oh. Ow! there, modifying that suplex there. GDT to follow on the silver that time. Gonna try to cover. Only a one. And then he strikes by Knuckles. Knuckles showcasing a little bit of his power. And I have to assume, but that's why he's Primarily focusing on Zavok, no, but Zavok will be the powerhouse. Losing the two covers now. One. DDT by Sephiroth. Does it have to feel that? Have to feel with the eyes of Atriox are watching this one. As I'm certain he would like to see yeah. his. Disciples, his followers, bring gold to the ranks, even if it is from Phoenix Pro Rest. I don't think Atriox will really care. He sees his, he sees his followers succeed. That's all that matters to him, especially when it is Sephiroth and Zavok. Who Atriox has said himself, they are at his right hand. They are his second in, his yeah, seconds in command. Nice hook and rider. One, two. And a kick out. See now the weapons coming into play here. And look at that Bob Wire baseball bat. Right to Zavik's head. Headlock now blind. Stop there. Now hook and rider again. Two. Now goals. Get a close two. Through on that one by Sephiroth. Oh. Line Lariat. Cover broken up and now oh, a splash. Two. 
Oh, well, there's two covers! And oh, he was counting! Deadpool was counting knuckles down! Ah, that chunk slam on the last tag! Havoc and Sephiroth have just won the tag team titles. Two covers going on. I wasn't too sure which one was being counted, but it was Zavok's fall on Knuckles being counted, and then Zavok secures the win on Silver. We have new tag team champions in Phoenix Pro Wrestling. And I am certain that once again the eyes of Adriox. There'll be a smile on his face. Seeing. Seeing Zavok and Sephiroth win the tag team titles. Well, we're now going to move on to another reserves match. And I've been informed that this one is a Dragon Ball Z clash. And with a Dragon Ball Z clash, you have Goku. I've been informed his opponent for tonight will be Cell. Perfect Cell. Once again, just like Kid Muscle and Kratos earlier. It's 12 rounds, 3 minutes per round. And once again, you have Red Shoes officiating. I don't think I need to talk about I don't think I need to talk about how strong both these two are that's amazing but they're both in the reserves and not actually um <coughs> not actually on the main roster pile driver by Goku And thrown to the corners. And a headbutt by Goku, but Sal going straight back up. This now. Oh! And, um, that scoop slab there, and the referee calls for round one, round two now. Of course, after this, ladies and gentlemen, we have the landmine death match. That will see Scorpion and Sub Zero. Fire and ice implode. Then we have the women's title on the line. Dark Angel defending against Aqua.
Now that I have one count. If you needed the arm there. Right now, Perfect Cell is going to have to... Sweet try that smart Goku! No, it's... I want to admit, it's not the most difficult of tasks to outsmart someone like Goku. He's not the brightest in the world, but... He's tough. And that's what's going to make him... And Perfect Cell, I'm certain, knows that. Making the eyes. That's the end of round two. And go into round three. Nicely done. See now, off the grab. Got it up. Ah, look at that there from Cell. Oh my fanciest chances now. I have to feel it would be the ego boost if he could take down Goku. One, two, three, four. Goku up at four. Nice brain buster. Now Goku going to try and get back in this one. Oh. Once again, another Brain Buster. And it's... Wait, Cell got him first? Ow, oh, just kicked Goku down. How did Cell get up first from having his head driven in the map? That's the end of round three. Point. And how quickly we go into round four. Here comes Goku. I'll go up to the top of the frog splash to the back. One, two, three, four. It's a four count. Yo. Look at this. Oh my god. Nicely done by Goku. I'll try the Superman punch. Didn't get it. But I'll trip that. Goku will fancy it now. Maybe not. Now puts Goku into the corner. Goku fights out of it. Ow! Nice he done by Goku. And it's a five that Sal gets up at. Ow, oh, man! Kick caught him! It's a six now! Goku could be in trouble! And Goku now just thinking, try and put it away! Kick out there! Now going around five! This is where the last reserve match ended! Oh man! Sit down, power bomb! This one ended quicker in round five. Goku picks up the win. A sit down power bomb. Or jumping bomb, as this one's calling it. 16 seconds into round five. Impressive win. For Goku. I would say I have to think the consortiums would have watched these reserve matches and probably want to bring these guys to the main roster. But then I remember they are moments away from their matchup against Sebulba and the Xenomorphs.
but right now, landmine death match. Scorpion and Zubs and Sub Zero. Sub Zero. He and Scorpion, tag team partners, imploding in on one another. And they're now just they're just taking a moment to set everything up for this landmine death match. The uh, boards on the outside of the rig, laced with the explosives. Explosives, I should say. Covered in barbed wire. And you got the boards in the corner. You got the weapons in the ring. I have to imagine this is everything that Scorpion and Sub Zero want from a grudge match. And you got the boards. Five. And there, got the. Lays with the light tubes. And of course, refereeing this one, it is Mankind. You see, you got the weapons scattered around the ring. Also, I have to imagine that people of the Free Count Casino still put. Seeing a bit of blood. Seeing a bit of carnage, a bit of chaos. Oh. Nothing new to any of them. I mean, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, Steelport was the victim of a of a terror attack at the hands of the banished, targeting the Deadly Saints nightclub. Claim responsibility for the attack. That puts still poor on Tender Hooks ahead of tonight. But the show is going on. Look at this. Right now, Scorpion and Subsidy are just trading shots. And now they're literally trading shots. Zero winning the trade off. That's oh! Why did that glass tube? And still the two of them just trading everything. They just want. They just want to just punching and kicking the ever loving shit out of one another. Cover! Two. Two count. <laughs> Nicely done by Sub Zero. Can't follow it up though. Scorpion back up. Sweep that. Oh. Oh. No. Sub Zero stun up. That sledgehammer straight to the head. Oh. Now Scorpion. Ow! He's count up. And the two of them again. Swing and miss that time with the sledgehammer. Oh, ow! Oh. 
Wow! Now, ah, on the outside! And there's that explosion! The explosive's now in the play! And it's Sub Zero who goes into them first! Stop you trying to play spots out with an arm oh. sub zero. Uh oh. Finally disarms it with that belly to belly throw. You see the blood on sub zero. But look at this. Sub zero. Still very much in the fight. And here comes Scorpion. Kick that. Oh! Sub Zero! Now! Now, once again, out of time! Times of zero getting the better of it. Now with that DDT! And oh my Scorpion! Scorpion on the better than in a belly throw! Right now! Oh man out! Oh. Sub Zero is so close there to throwing! Scorpion the outside! You can tell now that Sub Zero might be beginning to struggle a little bit. Ah, it's a Guri! But it's Scorpion that takes the worst of it! It's the worst of that but it's Scorpion who's clearly a lot more. Clearly has a lot more energy left! And they throw out inside! And once again! Sub Zero onto that barbed wire board! Laced with the explosives! Oh. And a stunner! <laughs> now! Now it appears Sub Zero's back and. He's got the momentum back in his favour! Try and keep it that way, though. Oh, you see now that victory roll? Ah, oh, that was close. Oh, kid, muscle win with it earlier. Wow! Oh! And fire breath. Two, three, and that's it. Scorpion picks up the win over Sub Zero. Sub Zero was the only one who met those landmines on the outside, and it's Scorpion securing the win. That fire breath that secures the win for Scorpion. Now we're going to have to clear the ring of that card edge. As we get ready for the women's title. So far we've seen one title retained. We've seen one title lost. Dark Angel will look to make it another retain for the champions. And Aqua will be looking to capture the women's title.
Well, so I do have to wonder if Scorpion and Sub Zero will team up again in the future, or has it really been severed between them? Well, here we go, women's title on the line. Aqua. to say whether or not she thinks she'd fancy her chances, chances against Dark Angel but well, this is very much home turf for anyone in the Deadly Saints so Dark Angel knows she's going to have the crowd on side of course very much able to lock that kind of thing out Are you ready? Are you ready? And this now what in the aqua ow a suplex from the top and again Dark Angel a little sleeper this is just becoming a man already bad by sleep but Dark Angel landed on the outside got very lucky on that one Allows Dark Angel to take advantage. Low close line. There it is again, though. Earth by sleep, but Aqua hasn't got enough time to capitalize. What's he done there? Done that. Yeah. Oh! What oh, I call for that one. <laughs> Look at that! Uh. Nicely done by Dark Angel, but can't get the pinfall. And Aqua again! And arm break up. Swing and miss. But Aqua doesn't miss on that one. Try to cover! Uh. Only a one. Kyle Driver there by Dark Angel ah. and a discus clothesline. Are you ready? Come on! Dark Angel liking her chances. Nicely done there, that low clothesline. Drops it. Backhand! Bang, bang! Oh man, Dark Angel feels she is in complete control bang, bang. of this one. Well, they're able to get out of that sharpshooter. Aqua's got to try and get things back and back going her way. Right now, Dark Angel will fancy her chances. Check this out. Aqua walks the ropes. Oh! Nice on that one. Now again! Give up. Dark Angel, that sharpshooter! Training shots! Aqua! Super kick! And that might be the momentum shift that Aqua needs! Or maybe not! <laughs> 
Wow! Dark Angel! Ends up for a cyclone! Aqua kicks out! No let yet! Out of the ring now and Aqua gonna try and do by the time. Oh god. Dark Angel's got a sledgehammer! Swing and miss! Got to our back break up. Aqua now! Nice uppercut. Come on! A swing and miss now! Now Aqua might fancy her chances again! Kick to the face! And now look at this! A mission in and Dark Angel escapes. Now! Ten minutes gone. Yeah now! Oh god! Drop there! Dark Angel! Oh man, look out! Oh! God! That one corner! And a kick out! Dark Angel might have things back in her favor, or maybe not. Up kick again. Aqua. Again, holding her own. Oh. Counted. A spear! Bang, bang! And again, a sharpshooter in on Aqua! Aqua again, not giving Dark Angel any chance. This is how much Aqua wants to add the Phoenix Pro Wrestling Women's title to a list of accolades! Tornado DDT! But now! <laughs> oh, how sudden! Dark Angel pulls that out! That's it! Just when it looked like Aqua was getting things in her favor! Dark Angel pulls that one out! And it's a retain! For Dark Angel! So tonight starts good for the Deadly Saints, that's for sure! Dark Angel retains! Dark Angel can be- Oh what the?! Oh god the ponies! And you also got Samus and Lucina out here as well! Another brawl has ensued! Oh my god, it looked like the party wanted to try it! Try and stay in their mind, but now they got... Aqua and Dark Angel now working together! And we also got Lucina and Samus out there helping them too! Come on! <laughs> Are you ready? Again, we're getting some chaos! Yeah. The night that's bound to be chaotic! Keep yeah. track of everything going on in the ring right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen the training shots there with Rare Team. Here comes Rainbow Dash. Bang, bang. Dark Angel and Aqua double teaming there. Oh, 
Fucking hell, my twilight sparkle. Yeah, you got the fights going on all over the ring. Kick right in the face. Put it in a shot shooter. It's dark, ain't eh? There's um, Rainbow Dash to make the save. Yeah, this just goes back to. I mentioned earlier that any chance they could take the ponies come up for them. Try to make an impact, but. You should try and look for the numbers advantage, they don't have that here! Oh, uh, ow! <laughs> Dark Angel there, once again, drink that rainbow dash! Oh, there's some rarity on the other side! Alright, Sparkle trying to go after Samus! Head. Oh, throw fight! Throw <laughs> fight between Pony Bill and the rest of the women's roster is Twilight Sparkle there got thrown out! That now shifts things in favour of the other women! <laughs> Suplex lab! Nothing. Oh! There she trips up the seat on that one and it's in it so hard! Bang, bang! This bro still goes on! Oh, Aqua just got thrown out! Yeah. Nice level pegging now between these teams in this brawl! Come on! I don't think they got thrown over, Rarity and Lucina. They went through the ropes, so it's not counting! They're still in the fight with one another! Bang, bang! Ah, that from Dark Angel! Yeah. And Dark Angel is now out! Give up! Give up! It is now 3 on 2! Yeah. Give up! And it's the two Give women up. who were out here to assist Dark Angel and Pinkie Pie! Two on two, Rainbow Dash and Rarity against Samus and Lucina! Got Samus and Lucina brawling on the outside! So you got Sa Lucina and Rarity on the outside, Samus and Rainbow Dash on the inside! Yeah. Oh, stop, stop! And look at this from Rarity! Here again, Raymond Dash went through the ropes. Finally, it all goes back into the ring. Fuck it, Rana! 
And that was clearly counted. And a look at this. He's trying to throw Samus out. Look at this. A double team drop kick. And oh, a double team to Samus there too. Samus! Can give me a tap to Lanty and a DDT on the Rainbow Dash by Lucina! <laughs> now! Oh, Samus again holds on! And oh, Rarity throwing Lucina out! It's now two on one! Samus! You yeah. need to be careful now! Look at this! I'm trying to throw Rainbow Dash out! Rainbow Dash holds on! You think the ponies are going to have the advantage in the brawl, but Samus not letting them have it. Oh, God! And that one. Samus, though. No. Look at this now. Ow! I got way back that. No, oh, that was Ranty, excuse me. Again, the battle of that trade off, and now up. Oh, Samus still. Oh god! Ow! Yeah. Samus on her head, and there's that double flip moonstone again. And now look at this. And that's the mission. And the ponies take the brawl. Dark Angel retaining the women's title, but the attack there once again, Ponyville making their presence felt. Dark Angel is going to need to keep eyes in the back of her head as far as Phoenix Pro Wrestling is concerned. So we're now moving on to another another reserves match and it's a women's Mortal Kombat showdown Scarlet the Blood Mage one on one with Kitana Kitana, of course, was one of the first women to... She initially refused to come back here while Randall Boggs was in charge. Saying the disrespect that Randall showed to the women. However, <laughs> now feels it fine to come back. Not on a full roster basis, but in the reserves. There by Kitada. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, following this, the future of Phoenix Pro Wrestling 
is on the line. As it will be the 4 on 4 elimination <laughs> match. Yeah. Right now, Kitsada. Throwing Scarlet then. Scarlet once again raking the eyes. <laughs> Up to the stomach. Huh. Look at this now. Yeah. End of round one. Hoi. Now going to round two. No official word on whether or not Kitsada will be back as a full roster member or whether she'll just remain in the reserves. Of course, she was very vocal about the treatment that the women received under Randall Boggs. However, you know, that, that was KIJW and that's, that's over. What's here is Phoenix Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Look at this! Oh, by Scarlet! I'll get the submission though. Trading it and nicely done. Oh, uh, now kick out. And look at these kicks now by Kitana. Up to the top. And a martial arts kick from the top. And now in the round three. Huh. Huh. Superman punch. A superwoman punch, I suppose you could say. Cover. And a kick out. Once again. Red Shears officiating these reserve matches. Look at this modified ankle lock. Oh man, check this out! It's a <laughs> fighting back and now the referee on the count. Five. And Scarlet's yeah. back in the game. Huh. This. Uh oh. Shit. Oh, look at this. Runs into that leg lock. Katana able to break free from it. Katana, you have to feel she'd certainly want to... Oh! That's the end of that round. Look at this right now, Katana. You certainly feel that she'd want to... If she would want to come back into Phoenix Pro Wrestling. And go back into the wrestling scene in Japan. A win here would be a nice way to do it. And it's a long four count. Katana yeah. now going to have to try and focus on keeping herself back in the game. I think Scarlet might be bleeding. I've got caught there now in the leg lock. Katana breaks out of it. And now, oh, look at this, Katana! Got a plate! Three again. Five. It's a five count. Scarlet's still in. And now I've got tied the tree of woe. And 
Oh, Scarlett has turned this in her favour. Oh, has she? Once again there. Tana quick to try and shut Scarlett down, but now look at this. Angle hold. Katana again though. Yeah. Monkey flip. And we're now in the round five. Ah. One, two, oh boy. Three, four, five, six, seven, Katana. Eight. Upright at eight. Katana now knows she's in danger. I turn it. Oh! Trying nose back and forth. <laughs> it kicks that. And four. a long four there. Yeah. Katana really is going to have to pull something out the back now. That was like by Scarlet. This could be it. Scarlet. Upright at late nine. Kitana is in danger. Oh, now again. Referee started the count late because Scarlet was down as well. And that might have just saved Katana that time. And a close line to follow. One, and he, two, down she goes. Three. And Katana saved by the bell. We are now in round six. <laughs> Halfway through the round. Katana now. Kick to the back. Let's try it out! Close line! Two, Again that short three, hand lariat! Kitsada! He's up, not up right eight. though, that's it! She was not to an upright position! Scarlet secures the win! They went into the sixth round, which is something the previous reserve matches had done. But in the end, it's Scarlet that picks up the win. And well, I was saying it earlier. This is the match that could determine the future of Phoenix Pro Wrestling. A stake for the consortium is on the line for each of them. They will have to forfeit shares to Sebulba if Sebulba and his Xenomorphs can win this match. But if the consortium wins, they will be allowed to physically interject themselves wherever they see fit. There are the Xenomorphs. And here comes an individual who has really done a 180 ever since um, situation with um, oh, well, Artis Vado had accused him of in CXWI. And it's proven not to be true, but. The Borba took that as betrayal. Anyway, here come the members of the consortium. Firestar Heart, Ogumon. Soaking in the roar of this crowd here in Steelport. You two 
And a stand in on behalf of Thelvedon, the Arbiter. Well, it could only be the Master Chief. Thelvedon asking Master Chief to stand in on his behalf for this matchup. You've got quite a formidable team here for us. For Borba and Zenomovs to go up against. Especially considering that they couldn't really prepare for the Master Chief. And it's going to be him and Sabolba that start this one off. And you see there it's Abe. Refereeing this one. Remember it's 4 on 4. Elimination. Now, I will drop that there by the Master Chief. And now, support. Oh! Just gets elbowed in the face there, and tag made. Firestar gonna come in. Of course, it was Firestar who made a point on commentary that he's not allowed to interject, and nor were the members of the consortium due to their. Status as owners. Firestar, of course, made the point, but he believes that they should be allowed to physically interject should they see it necessary. Yes, of course, if the consortium can win this match, then they'll be allowed to. Goes back to Mewtwo physically interjecting against the Xenomorphs. Tag main Mewtwo now in. And now test the strength in Mewtwo. Easily overpowering. That Xenomorph and into a... What in the fuck is that? And a submission there. And now Tag and... You now got a... Lighter... Xenomorph. A lighter skin Xenomorph in. Almost like a grave. I'll go with that. Now, tag made. And Ogamon gonna come in. Right, this now, Ogamon, that is extre extremely suggestive. And now the red skinned Xenomorph. Say more like Ruby almost. Where did Sabulba find these xenomorphs? Oh! Jawbreaker. Yeah. Oh, Into that headlock and Xenomorph able to break out of it and an Ogamon. Now at the back end. Check this out! Mission Devon! Breaking free. Tag base Firestar now in! Firestar immediately caught in a headlock. Check that out. And a drop kick to follow. And he's caught once again that headlock. And out. Jawbreaker again. And the red tagging out to the um, grey. I don't know if these Xenomorphs have names, but I guess I'm just going to have to call them by their colours. Nice uppercuts there by Firestar. Tag made. Mewtwo now in. Ah, he does get Palm shot is there. And Mewtwo now. Put into a headlock and breaking out of it. Tag made and it's now Dark Xenomorph. Look at he shot down by Mewtwo. Ah, oh, but he gets slapped down and 
Must have actually being overpowered right now. Or maybe not. Oh! That was an interesting use of Mewtwo's belly. Master Chief. Now oh, just gets. Well down, now put in a submission! Master Chief though, back on the offense. And a submission of his own, an ankle lock! Nicely oh. done there, and now. Ow! Sidewalk slab! Master Chief! Oh! That was impressive! Museum of deciding the. The Dogs are deciding to get out there, so Bulba now back in. He gets dragged to the center. And an elbow drop by the Master Chief, but Bulba immediately responded with a headbutt. So we do a cover. Master Chief kicks out. And now Sabulba biting on the Master Chief's finger! Ow! Ow! Fine Master there! Five star now tagged in! We're gonna see a double team! Are you ready? Oh man, and I think Firestar! Superman Punch! Bang! I'm certain that the Firestar wants this one! Firestar, I know he wants to put Sabulba down! Raising them off from the outside and... They're quickly going back into the ring. Now, running through for a cover. Not even a one. Have a look at this, biting! Biting on the Firestar. Firestar's going to need to be careful now. Trying to need her, that didn't quite work. But follows it up! With a double underhook suplex. Has he done that? Ah, but the Xenomorph follows back with a headbutt. Tag made and it's red. And Ogamon going to be tagged in. Ogamon, nice knee there. And Ogamon trying to cover. Breaking the eye. And now. An underhooked arm lock, but. Can't get a submission. Look at that there for Ogamon. Ogamon! What the fuck? What the f? Did Ogamon just lip lock him? Ow! Lawbreaker! I think Ogamon just deep kissed him. That's worth it. Oh my god, what the heck? It's oh my word! Team there by Mewtwo and Ogumon! Cover broken up by Sebulba. That was a neat double team move, but I can't like, I can't get over the fact that Ogumon just deep kissed one of the Xenomorphs. Look at this! Oh, Mewtwo now put in a headlock. Look at this again, you're seeing one of those psychic powers of Mewtwo coming to play. I oh, just get some high rate for his troubles. No drop kick. Oh god, look at this! Mewtwo now being strangled! Oh, the dark xenomorph! Mewtwo now turns his focus back to the grey! Look at this right now, just training and again you to get slapped down! Coming up there, into a cover! Again a two count. And Mewtwo! Jesus Christ! Nicely done there, Mewtwo to cover! And a kick out. It's, oh my word! That kick caught him! And STO to follow! Into a headlock! Need to be able to break free. 
tags in the fire star. Same time, Suborba tag dead. Ah, that first. And now, a fire star GTS. GTS in. I'll get the submission. And now, fire star and Suborba trading back and forth. Ah, super kick. And in the cover. Ogumon making the save. And now, Firestar tags out. It's Master Chief. Now takes over in the match for the consortium. And he takes a headbutt. Anti elbow strikes. Master Chief, Spine Buster! Try to cover! Two, three, Got it! And well, that's going to feel quite humiliating for Savolva. He's the one who kicked up with a huge fuss and he's burst out. He's now going to have to rely on the rest of the Xenomorph to win the match for him. Trades back and forth. Big splash there. And it's Mewtwo who makes the save. Tag in and now it's Ogumon. Ogumon gets tripped up. Janet suplexed. And the cover. Only a one count though. And Ogumon getting speared down and there is a stomach claw. Ogumon able to fight his way out of it. That didn't quite work there, but look at this. Ow! That worked. And you, and Ogumon. See there, Zemov. Dark Zemov tagging in the red. And then an iron claw. Ow! Firestar just gets dead. Whoa! Ogumon moves back before that mist could get near him. Here comes the Master Chief again. Master Chief. Spearing down. The Red Xenomorph. And now. Swing and miss on that one by Master Chief. Into a submission. You two making the save. Right now, if I were Master Chief, I'd want to get away from this red alien. Tag made, and in comes Gray. Oh my word! Now up to the top again! This is not going well for Master Chief. Oh, wait a minute. Ow! Oh! Turn it around with that one. I need to get smacked in the, smacked in the head there. And now Master Chief again. Master Chief again there. The cover gets broken up again. There's another cover. And Master Chief kicks out. And attacks made it again. It's Dark and Firestar. Ow! Firestar getting speared down. And now it looks like the Xenomorphs are in control. Just as I say that. Firestar. <laughs> Look at that for a Phoenix Splash. Cover broken up though. A bit too close to their corner. I'm at Tombstone. Firestar! Look at that! Sharp shooter, but it was broken up again. Firestar needs to get out of that corner. Look at that! Now tag in, and it's going to be red. And you two also tagged in. Look at that iron claw! Firestar able to make the save. 
You too. Ow! Corkscrew of his own. Corkscrew Zipton. Nice down there. You too! And that's it. The Wolf has given up. Oh man, that. You too. Ow! Oh! No, he's doing the same damn! Yeah, you don't even need the turnbuckle to do a stick face. Ow! Oh god! Oh, just as I say that! You too! Oh, you two darling at him! The stinker there and... They're hard applied! Not giving in! Tag me now! Oh, come on in! And it's just this one crazy the bomb! Left against the entirety of the consortium! Change him! And I'm on the stun gun then! Oh, stun baton up! What in the... How's this Ogamon got with it? Oh god, he's getting iron clawed! And saved there by Master Chief! No, oh, that's deep in that corner! Oh god! Ogamon! Chief Limrock again and that's it! Oh my god, I... Ogamon just... I, again, I don't even have... I don't think I can comment, really. Ogu love it. Is, is that really what he calls it? Well, bottom line, the Consortium of One. And that now means that the Consortium are allowed to physically interject themselves. Hey, wait a moment! Oh, we got a brawl on again! We got a brawl on again! It did not take long for things to break down! And I must admit, this one, I had a gut feeling there was going to be a brawl! Oh, I'm the one just getting missed it! Putting you to it a submission! Alright, that's now! Collision David! You got a Dino off strangling fast! Oh, you did have it! You got another submission on your side, the Master Chief being. Stretchman, he's now back in the fight! Come on, taking knees to the stomach. And just takes a double team move there. Oh, look at this, I've seen him off there with a... Look like a fork! You know, the floor's outside, oh, come on! Give me a big face to that red Xenomorph! Oh god, you see that? He's been fast on top of the outside, but it's not elimination! It's a Gary by Algamon! They're fighting them by fast. Throwing it up. Throws Mewtwo in the corner. And... Oh, the ball now finds it in the corner. Oh, God! It's Mewtwo! Mewtwo just giving the ball for it. Look at this! YouTube Firestar! Ow! Oh, 
Guarda, allora è morto Chase! I'm gonna fight that! Questo prova! Shots there by Ogumon. I'm not having to fight off two of the Xenomorphs at the moment. Well, he was having to. That turns attention to Sabolba. Now the DDT there. Alan! Ogumon just went in with his butt again. Uh oh. And a leg lock. Look at this for the fire star. <laughs> and now, once again, he and you two. Boom. There's all about here a cross face chicken wing. And Bob Backlund isn't watching. Boom. Oh, just gets kicked in the face. Look at this! Again, it's not a shock that this is happening, but at the same time, it's allowed! Are you ready? I don't think we have anyone out of this brawl yet! Yes, you two! Whoa! 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 Double of Mewtwo's power! Mewtwo displaying his psychic powers to the fullest! But that's Mewtwo doing that thing again! I will stop there on that... On that grey alien! Mewtwo! Bam! Fire stop! Oh, he missed it! Ah, it's the ball going low on you two! The ball isn't getting what he wants, he... Obviously, he must feel that... Just keep fighting them! Get something out of this! Lose the battle, but win the war! I think! The consortium are not going to have that! No, so you're not going to want to have it! Oh, Ogamon just got thrown out! Oh man, oh, it's a woman now! Oh man, this is now starting to really shift in favour of the Bulber and his Xenobox! Where's that red seed above? Now! He's being stabbed in the head again! Fire star! Oh, well, the ring goes one to see That's an over the top elimination! He's out of the brawl! This again, you two. Oh, cut off of that. You two there, just slashing down on that xenomorph. After Chief now, training blows. Oh man, the ball was turned. Up, 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 and down. Oh, he's gonna open again! You two! Set up on tension! Look at that nice neck break up! Master Chief! There goes another Xenomorph! Now the time has shifted back in favour of the Consortium!
out of you two! I cracked them! How are you two just getting drilled in his own move? The Tabormans just submitted! It's now three on one! I'll stand for that on bar and Master Chief has given up! It's now two on one, Firestar! And you two! Again, Red! Sharpshooter! That's it! Well, the Consortium win the battle, and they win the war! And I have to imagine that Saborba's gonna feel pretty humiliated after that. He kicked up this huge fuss, and he couldn't succeed on the other side. The Consortium win, and now they are allowed to physically interject wherever they see necessary. We now know that for the future of Phoenix Pro Wrestling. And up next, we're going to find out the future number one contender for the world title. And one of them, either Ray Nile or Mr. Clean, one of them's going to become it, one of them's going to get fired. We're about to find out. Storm inbound! Wayne Allen. He was a former world champion in KIJW. Not had that chance to recapture gold since. He's got that chance here. Mr. Clean, of course. I don't think we need to say much about the career in CAW for Mr. Clean. The dirtiest player in the game. And remember, one of these two will become the number one contender for the world title at the next CPV for Phoenix Pro Wrestling, Swords of the Highlands, which will take place in Scotland. The winner of this match becomes number one contender for the world title at Swords of the Highlands. The loser is fired. So all the pressure on. Yeah. Of course we have that world title match later tonight. Yeah. Lord Chopper against Reptile. Nice catch down by Mr. Clean but Ray Allen. Oh, this right here. Seeing a bit of chain wrestling. Here's one of the things to note about, oh man, about Phoenix Pro Wrestling. It's something I have to envy them for. They, they do things in this ring that CXWI just doesn't have. Yeah. Kind of breaking the fourth wall there. Nice scoop slam by Rain Allen and this is an example. What the fuck is that submission? Again, it's so... Unorthodox, what you can. What they can do in this ring. Back body drop there by Mr. Clean. Oh, look at this, a leg stretch, but right now and again breaks out of it. Of course, you have to imagine for both of these two the pressure. Pressure to win. Become the number one contender for the world title, but that risk as well. And you could be fired. Look at these knees here. And yeah, this is an example of what we see of Rain Allen. You see XWI comparison to what we see here. This is an example of how good Rain Allen is. Not to take away Mr. Clean. No doubt how good he is either. Five minutes gone. Cover! And 
referee, Admiral Akbar, presiding over this one. Following this, ladies and gentlemen, we have another matchup in the reserves. Into the stomach by Mr. Clean and the latest modified sharpshooter. We then have the barbed wire death match, and I am scared for this one. We then have the Japan heavyweight title on the line, followed by a reserves battle royal. Then it is our main event, pinfall only, two out of three falls for the world title. Lord Champa against Reptile. Yeah. And there's our bar locked in, and whoa! Twisting it round! Can't get a submission though, but Jesus Christ, that was impressive. Ah, but Mr. Clean. Once again, that back suplex. Look out now. Ryan Allen. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Got him on that one. And Mr. Clean kicks out. Whoa. Oh, look at this. Stormbringer. Can't get the win, though. And tosses Mr. Clean the outside. Ryan Allen. Oh! Whoa! Jesus Christ! Yeah. Look at Red pulled that one out! Yeah. One, two. Holy guacamole! Mr. Clean kicking out! Yeah. Oh boy, look out! Ah, oh, the two collide! Hey, that again, the better of it! Got it again. Ow! Pele kick. Yeah. This is that one. Oh, Mr. Clean now. Ah, Shining Wizard. Ten minutes gone. Oh, and this could be about to turn in Mr. Clean's favor. That sling blade, but no oh, wait. Whoa! Yeah. Hey, that one again. Yeah. Unorthodox submissions, but. Yeah. Hey, if they work, they work! And then I'm trying to keep things in control. Look at Mr. Clean there! Roll up! And Ray Allen kicking out. And again a roll through, and this time into a, a leg lock! Escaping there. And our oh, Sambo suplex! Oh man, Mr. Clean now suddenly starting to favor himself. Hurricane Rana! Again though, Ray Allen not out of it. Oh! He's straight to the face. Uh-oh. Oh, damn, Mr. Clean! And that running power bomb! Ray Allen kicks out. Still on it, right on it. No! Knee straight to the dome. Got it! Right on it, scores the win. That is number one contendership for Ray Allen. For Swords of the Highlands. It's the pink slip for Mr. Clean. Ray Allen is now the number one contender for the world title. What a way to do it. And we're now moving on to this matchup in the reserves. This is one here, but I've actually been given no information on. And this one is going to be a complete mystery to me. Bill Ray Allen will feel like celebrating here tonight. He is guaranteed the number one contendership of the world title at Sword to the Highlands. And 
Well, this reserve match has to... That is hard so long. They even have Han Solo in this one. Once again, it's Red Shoes officiating on the reserves match. Han Solo gonna be up against. Oh my God! It, that that's Greedo. That's Greedo, isn't it? It is. Well, that's, this only feels, um, I guess appropriate. So it's Han Solo against Greedo. This feels extremely awkward. Up and a punch to the gut. Bang, bang. Oh! Nice shot there. There's a product going with the knees, but I can do it for long. Now, front right of the corner. And out! Oh, Greedo that gets the punch in. I'll tell you, it falls with a few of his own. Now, more shots. One of those uppercuts. And shots there. Wait, it's been a biting! Doesn't keep it in for long. I think we're going to be seeing quite a lot of biting in the next matchup. It is the barbed wire death match. Johnny Gat facing Point. the personification of evil. True monster. I'm gonna need that. Try to cover. I'm gonna one off of that. And then it is for hard solo. I'll try again. Nope. Nice counter. That suplex there. And now. Ow! I'm gonna try to follow it up, but. You know, getting himself out of that one. Oh! Again! Forcing Han Solo off of them. Missed. Oh no, look at this now! Greedo! Not had a stranglehold! Nope. Cover! Bring a one off of it. Look at the shots again and... Look at this roll through! One. Ouch. Has a kick again. Short line Lariat. And Han now in with punches. We're now in the round three of this matchup. Angle hold again. That knee. One, two. That's Greedo on the offense. Lost the grab. Lost out of it. And again, though. Greedo seems to be looking for that submission and get it strangled. Oh, 
Up there and... And now it's Hatsuna's turn for a submission and I'm back. Nope. Let me have that one. And there's a... Big kick there by Hatsuna. Flag drop kick. And drops the knee but... Rina moves out of the way. And that's... Ow! Oh! Like some kind of acid mist. Now, oh, whoa, look at this! Wow! Hard! Oh, no. Can't get the submission. Time for round four. See, up! Oh. See them. I'm still covered in that. That acid mist that Greedo put on him. Leg sweep and dropping the knee as well. Down he goes. A counter. And oh! One, two, that shot caught him. Three, four, five. That's the first count we've had of the match. There was a count of five that it reached. Hans in trouble. Some leg sweep. Elbow strikes there and arm and an elbow. One, two, and she's gonna make three, the count now on Greedo. Four, five, six, seven. A seven! And that's on his first count as well, so. Now Greedo's in trouble. And body drop. Tries to whip him off, but it's the ref calls for the end of the round. Round five. This is where we've seen most of the most of the um, reserve matches come to an end. Only one match went beyond round five. Ow! Only a chops. Boot to the stomach to follow. Now! Ah! Max Suplex with. Oh, oh my god! One, two, A big three, shot there! Four, five, oh, I think that's rocked him! Eight, nine, ten. It's not gonna go! You know, it was too rock from that one! And that shot was all hard needed. One minute twenty in around five. Doesn't matter who shot first, who shot hardest. And in this case, it was hard solo. Oh, the ring is now being set up. For this one. And uh, Johnny Gat. He is going to step into. A barbed wire death match. Against. A true monster. You just had to look at what he did in the DWP Cup. Just for an example of what this monster was able to do. And he's here in Phoenix Pro Wrestling. We've already seen him take a bite of 87. That rookie has not shown his face since then. And that was where Winnie the Pooh would make this challenge. Five. He 
Here we go. And you see there, you got the barbed wire around the ring. You've also got those explosives on the outside. I don't know if there is a timer on them being set off. But I think right now that's going to be the last of Gat's worries. You see Gat is actually wearing full attire. I guess it's a good thing going up against... Well, good thing if he gets, ends up being thrown into the wire. Nice moonsault there and not even a one-off of it. Oh god, I thought he was... Oh, I thought the monster was going to go in for the bite early. He said he wanted to... He wants to harvest the honey from Johnny Gat. He's going to have that chance here, but Gat not going to make it easy for him. Don't let the... Don't let that smile on his face fool you. This bear is not cuddly. He's a monster. DDT. Johnny Gat going to want to try and put the monster out. We got though. I have to think that the first person to get thrown into that wire is going to be in serious trouble. Ah! Glass tube and again it's barely phased him. Ah, I could rather did though. Out of shots here to, to win even. Oh, oh my god! That's stopping himself dead in his tracks. Trying to swing away with that sledgehammer. Did get a shot, but again, it's barely phasing this monster. Ah! 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 that? Oh man. DDT by Gat. Again, it's the moment that we need a poo tastes blood. But the monster comes out and gets thrown into the barbed wire. Oh, and this could not. This could be bad for Gat now. Let's have a shot. Gat's still fighting though. Shot shooter. Give up. Gat has got to. Ah! Give up. Oh, the bite. Oh, God. I'm... Gat punching away, but you see that Gat is bleeding. Alan. Ah! Burning a bar boy. At least we need the poos busted open. Now they're both bleeding! Get down! One, two. Kick out. And now they're both. We need a move with the bite again! And then get out of the. Check out! Oh my god! And now, what the fuck? What have done? What the actual? Ow! Oh my! That was a hard punch. Oh god! This has. Oh no! I was about to say it's dirty. We need to boost favor, but get further into the wire. Nina Poo kicks out. And Nina Poo gonna follow up with a cover. And Gat kicks out. And that ow! Nina Barb Wire again! 
Uh, there's no turners again in his favour! Ow! Ow! And a punch to the stomach! And a Singapore K to the back of the head! And then we need to be fighting! Oh! There's a punch to the stomach and... I think Gats just warmed this fight up now! No! Oh, no! He's biting him again! He's taking as much of that honey as he can! But look at Gats! Not giving anything again though! Give up! Get winning a boot biting him! Now I'm in a DDT! Oh, that might have things back in his favour. Oh, he missed it. And we're in the boot. Oh, no. We're in the boot. Cracking the honey pot. One, two, three. That's it. That's a victory. We need a boot over Johnny Gat. And that was nothing Gat could have done. The monster continues to thrive. And we're now going to have to disassemble the, the barbed wire ropes around the rig and get the explosive barrels from the outside. Frankly, they didn't have to come into play at all, but. We're going to have to get Gat looked at from those multiple bites. Winnie the Pooh took out of them. Now Winnie the Pooh did say he wanted a taste of steel pot honey. He got it. Sick fucking bastard. They're still disassembling the ring and putting it all back up for our next matchup. The Japan heavyweight title on the line. Iron Man. Iron Man the defending champion. And the challenger, Carnage. And since getting that number one contendership, Carnage and Iron Man, they have been at each other's throats. Right. It's all going to come to a head. Here is Carnage. It is an interesting clash that you have between Carnage and Iron Man. And of course, the way they beat at each other's throats, and also the way that, and of course, you have Iron Man who. It's assisted by Captain America, and you have Carnage. He's been getting a lot of assistance from Baraka lately. Both of them bad from ringside for this matchup. It's a mission here, and it is Howard the Duck who presides this one. Oh man, oh, counted! Ah, Carnage with a tombstone. This is that one. 
Gonna miss that one. And Look out. Nice counter there and Allen. Iron Man quick to get things back in his favor. Trying to cover there quite early on for a cover. Shot there and now look up. And then take it down and sit top to follow. And misses the oh, then. Doesn't miss the follow up. Oh, an arrow submission. Now, oh. Missed out. Carnage and Iron Man trading back and forth. Carnage he gets the better, but falls down in the process. No shots. On that suit that Tony Stark has created. They can do a number on you. Even an open hand slap. Oh, this now. Swing and miss. Oh, ow! Nice, he's out there. I'm back for the cover, but only a one. Brings those boots both times missing, but doesn't miss those shots. But now, on oh, that! Down, oh, GTS! God, it's caught him on that woman! Iron Man kicks out. That's sudden! Carnage can pull that offense out. Oh man, and again it's counted! And again a tombstone! Referee getting knocked down! And a submission here! Referee still down though! Not gonna work! Ah, Janet Suplex! And now high angle Boston! Now the duck now back up. And he slaps! Again, it's that open palm! He can still do the damage! Oh boy! Ah! Elbow drop! I'm not gonna try to cover off of that! And again, Iron Man kicks out! I'm a cock breaker! Should I do a wrestler that it's probably better I don't name them at this moment? Iron Man! Double underhook suplex! And now! There's a spear! And look at this again! A high angle Boston! Can't get Carnage to submit! The show! Trying to follow it up! Got caught big on that one! Iron Man kicks out! Well through kick there! But Iron Man quick to respond the jawbreaker! Now, Superman punch! It's ironic, but it's Iron Man, Marvel, doing a DC move. If you want to call it that. Old dog. Iron Man now starting to get things in his control. There's a spear! Out again! I am man the slaps. Carnage in a daze. Oh wait, maybe he wasn't! No! One, two, three. Carnage! 
white chip. It's a new Japan heavyweight champion. Lord Iron Man in. And takes it down with that GTS. Been two title defenses, two title changes. As Carnage levels it up for the challengers. But it was just that way Carnage did it there. Looking dazed, looking like he was out of it. And then all of a sudden, boom! Lured him straight into that one. Lured Iron Man in and then GTS cover. That was it. Well, up next, ladies and gentlemen, before our main event, it is another match in the reserves. A timed battle royal in the reserves. First to enter it is Sector. And to make a change up from Red Shoes officiating, it's Deadpool this time. Number two. Oh wow! This is the Red Power Ranger. So all red starting this thing off. The Red Ranger, Jason Lee Scott. This is certainly it's an interesting combo to start this match off. Entrance come in every five minutes. They're eliminated by pinfall. Oh, what the? Five. I think there was a bit of a glitch up there, but we'll go with it. Entrance come in at five minute intervals. You are only eliminated by pinfall. Swing this. Oh! Shut that and now look out. That's the strike, but it's the Red Ranger. Outpowering Sector. This now, oh! Big shot there. Sector not allowing Jason Lee Scott to get too much momentum with the early going, but quick shot to dodge that one! Sector, oh! Finally lands a shot on him. I going to say the Red Ranger able to outmaneuver Sector, but one quick shot. They're covered now. Ow! Sector close line. Trying to follow it up and out. Takes him down with that knee and drop kick to follow. And once again, trading blows. And now, oh, Sector misses that one. But doesn't miss the follow up. Oh, and follow up as well. Sector starting to take a beating. Might just turn it round though. Swing the misses again, that big boot, but follows up and now you got the two trading blows again. We're almost ready for our next entrant. I wonder if it's going to be another red person. Five minutes gone. It's not, it's um... Oh my, it's... It's Jean-Claude Van Damme! 
And he's dressed in his um Dial outfit from the Street Fighter movie. Oh, what I did. Oh, what I did reference to that. Oh! I thought I'd see a reference to that in anything again. Keylock in, but again, Deadpool doesn't need course submissions. It's pinfall only. Look at this right now, the, the kicks like crazy from the muscles from Brussels. Here comes. Oh, look out! Double team there, attempt failed. Up to the head. A lot of times with Deadpool's having to move around here just to make sure he doesn't get caught up in the caught up in the action, but so far there hasn't been a pitfall attempt in a while. Shot to the head there again. And in the corner the Sector turns his focus to Jean Claude and they tried to turn their focus to the Red Ranger, but he fights out of it. There's that neck breaker again. And the two collided. Double team in Seguri. Hey. that, that. Now, oh! Didn't work. Put it ahead and look at that there from Sector. Oh, sweeps him down and Sector taking him down again and got a submission here, but it isn't gonna count. Broken up and tried to follow up. That didn't work. And a sweep again there by by Sector. Now we're at the back. We're about to get entry number four out here. Oh boy! It's Sagat! Sagat, part of the reserves. And oh god! Sector! Oh, Sector's knocked down! The guard knocked up Sector! Oh, this could be... That certainly made this one a little bit more interesting. Well, that's our first elimination. There are seven more in this rumble to come. Six more, I should say. Six of the seven to be eliminated. And we haven't even had all the entrants in yet. How about drop? Oh, the shots there. Right now, you have to consider Sagat to be the bigger threat in this matchup. And they're on the way, nice kick there by Jean Claude. Now turns his focus to Sagat. Oh my word! A shot there, and oh! Red Ranger trying to take it to Sagat, but it'll take more than that to take this guy down. Look at this now! Okay, the Red Rangers face him with those shots! Now he's going down here with those knees! Shot there and oh! Right, thrust and check this out. Spins it with that power bomb and so got breaking up the cover, which is I don't know why you would do that. It is elimination style, so let's let the guy get eliminated. 
Anyway, you now got Cyrax. Cyrax into this one. Nice neck break up. And Sector still just laying there. He's still out of it. And now the Red Ranger trying to take the fight to Sagan. Just gets kicked to the back of the head by Cyrax. Nice knee there. Oh. Knees again by Sagat. Hey. I guess it's ironic he got Sagat from Street Fighter and Jean Claude Van Damme in his dial attire from Street Fighter. There's an irony in that, I think. Well, the Red Ranger and Cyrax at one another. Jean Claude and Sagat at one another. Boom! As he's out there and Done and Sagat. So hey. more of that strike based offense. Oh, but a knee by Jean Claude. Hey. Hey. Nicely done. Look at this, you got both of them going in with these, both Sagat and Jean-Claude Van Damme. Hey. Arm drag dab. Nice shot! Hey. And they get the sixth entrant into this matchup. <laughs> and... The Fox! The offense in this match is about to get a lot more punchy. Oh! Well, the first thing Steve Fox did there was a kick. And then a neck breaker. And Cyrax falls up with a neck breaker of his own. We're three quarters of the way through the entrance and we've only had one elimination at the Sector. And he's still just like that. A bit more, we can't actually get a medical team out here until the match is actually finished. Why that's the case, I don't know. But I'm assuming it must be a security measure. Now, oh, one club there forcing Sagat off and cover. Two. Kick out. Shots there and it's right now. Ow. Steve Fox there dropping the fist. Lock here by Jean Claude, not gonna work in this matchup, but you do the damage. There's a neck breaker by Cyrax. Do the damage to somebody, and hey, it works. Double team by Cyrax and the Red Ranger. I'm on double team there. This side with the Red Ranger and Steve Fox on Cyrax. Shot there by Steve Fox. And we know that Steve Fox, he has got fists of steel. See, now you got Don Claude Van Dam and Sagat trending back and forth. Ah, there's the elbow strike. And that's the Red Ranger eliminated. The Red Ranger eliminated by Pitfall. Here comes the next entry. This is, uh... 
fuck is that? Oh, I believe that's, uh, that's bacteria. Two entrants eliminated, five still in there, one still left to enter. And I shot there. Now. Shot there and. Look at this now. The Fox! Shot to the back of the head. Now the ring goes Jean Claude. Well, can take a moment just to catch himself. Ah, there's now bacteria on the top of the double knees. And now he's shot by Cyrax. Not missing the he's right there and Shots there by Jean Claude Van Damme. Hey. And here comes even more of them. Bacterian backdrop. Here's the fall of Cyrax there. Swing and miss on that one. And now look at this from Jean Claude. Oh, he just gets, just gets clocked in the back of the head. And we're close to getting the final entrant out of this matchup. We have already had the two eliminations so far, one by pinfall, one by knockout. And now, nicely done by Jean-Claude, but Cyrax quickly responds. Now, nice German suplex. Come up! Jean-Claude kick out and, oh boy! We have the Red Ranger earlier, and the final legend in this one is the Green Ranger. This is um Tommy Oliver, I think. Look at that that. Well, this is. All we got for this matchup now. Nice double team. Now take so that taking down the Green Ranger. And a shot now, Jean Claude. Nicely done by Jean Claude Van Damme. Shots there. And Sagat really taking the offense down to the Green Ranger. Oh, hey. God, that down. Hey. And the number three still in there. The longest running participant for this matchup because of the elimination of Sector and the Red Ranger. Double team. On the side, right? And it's back to go! Oh, we got another KO! Another one in the critical! This time it's Sagat who's laid out! Oh, well, this is actually quite. I'm just thinking about the. Um, I'm thinking about the EDO here because um both Sector and Sagat are still in the EDO tournament. They can have serious injuries here. Still in the EDO um, 
the Indio tournament to decide the number one contenders. For the Indio title at Hyperlake and Sector's out. Sagat's out. I have to get a review on the severity of their injuries because yeah, they could be forced out of the tournament at this rate. Headbutt! Yeah, Cyrax now responded by taking both him and the Green Ranger out. Yeah, that was the shot. Cover now on John Claude. Bacteria breaking up the cover. Arm drag there by Jean Claude Van Damme. Look out! Hey. Miss on that one. Shot there and look at my team! Pile driver! Hey. Oh, he just slams Steve Fox down but the cover gets broken. Found there by Cyrax. Nice back on. The bacteria back up. Here comes the shots again. Go throw that down. Nice. Oh, and Steve Fox responding with a Gun punch! Hey. Uh, shot that! Hey. An arm bar red! Nice German suplex! Two, three, Steve Fox is out! <laughs> Cyrax! The Green Ranger! Jean-Claude Van Damme! And Bacteria! Ow! Backbreaker followed up by a scoop slam! <laughs> and now, trips him up and... Now the shot's down. The Green Ranger! That. Cover now on the Green Ranger following that knee drop. That's it! We got the Green Ranger out, so we're down to three. John Claude, Cyrax, and Bacterian. Oh, look at this. That's all that power display. He takes shots of his own. Now, oh, nice arm drag counter. Here come the shots again. Boom! Oh, this now. I think Jean Claude had something in mind there, but changes mind on see bacteria approaching. Cyrax. Gets headbutted in the back of the head. And now, now, oh, pile driver. And now, oh, slowing him down, and Cyrax breaking up the cover. Again, I don't understand that kind of strategy in a battle royal environment. Yeah! And again, that big knee drop. Now, 
double team. Straight to the face, that's Cyrax out! We've had three crits in this one! Three knockouts! Hey. The medical staff are gonna have a tough job on their hands! Pile driver! And I think John Claude might be hurt now! I mean the medical team are going to be stretched out, having to deal with Cyrax, Sector and Sagat. There we go! Boom! Straight to the head! And now, more shots! Boom! Yeah, putting him into an arm lock. He's trying to hurt the guy, but now material a massive leg drop. And follows up with another one. And now Pile Driver! Oh man! Bacteria has really turned this in his favor and I think Jean-Claude Van Damme might have to rethink his strategy. Now he just gets... Tries going for something, just immediately gets... Cut off dead in his tracks, but here we go! Again, those speed shots! Boom! Now here comes Jean-Claude Van Damme! Bacteria's still not out of it! He's rocked, but... Still in this! Come on! Loving blows! And again, double knees! Off the top! One, two, three... And that's it! Bacterian scoring the win in this reserves battle royal. Now, could we please get medical staff out here for Sector, Sagan, and Cyrax? Well. Here we are. It's main event time. Two out of three falls. Pinfall only. For the Phoenix Pro Wrestling World Title. Lord Champa. Defending a dead reptile. This is your main bento. This has been a crazy night. And it concludes with the wild title being defended. Reptile already a champion in CXWI, but 
It has been a very long time since Reptile has held World Gold. It's been a long time since he's had a shot at World Gold. He's not going to want, want to let the opportunity slip away. Oh, here is the champion. Lord Champa. Winning the title from Lord Beerus in shocking fashion. A quick knockout. It's caught everyone off guard. Lord Chopper captures the world title and now defending it here at the Free Count Casino here in Steelport. Here we go. Main event underway. Shot to the stomach there. And you have to feel that you know, Reptile, he's made the point that you know, he wanted this to be against Lord Beerus. Lord Champa mocking of him. A mocking of Reptile on the episode of Phoenix before this um, CPV. Reptile, I'm so I would love nothing more than a silence. Lord Champa. Lord Champa, right, son, would love nothing more than to prove himself right. Jana. Those shots there. Jana. Back and forth, and it's Reptile getting the better. Nice shot there. Up there. Shots there again by Reptile and of course I make the point that this is the first major shot at a world title that Reptile has had in a very long time. We also know that Lord Champa is going to have something to prove this being his first title defense. Look at these knees now. Follows up with a modified Insiguri. Lord Champa is going to want to established that he didn't get lucky with that KO on Lord Beerus. He really does deserve to be world champion. Ah! And Chopper going low! That's so quick to respond. Check those out. Oh, and Reptile wants to follow it up! What? Ow! <laughs> Chopper, quick to get back to a mental on his side. Oh, 
out to Ow! And now again, it's Chomp with those kicking combos. And I think, yeah, he has. I think Reptile's busted open. And that's exactly what Chomper's going to want to see. Reptile not giving in yet. You can tell it. Oh! oh! Turnabout's fair play. And there's that acid spray. And now once again you got the two of them trading blows. Jana. Ow! Backhand. Nice roll up by Reptile! Two count. And again, Chopper shutting it down. Nice elbow strike. You see, whatever. Looks like Reptile's starting at something going. Chopper is shutting him down. And he gets these combos. The Chopper throws out, but look at that now. Modified Brain Buster. Oh man, Reptile. He might be starting to feel a bit confident with himself. There's that spray again. And it's Chomper again, who... with a kick. Whoa! Nice roll up! And a kick out. I have to feel that Rain Allen will keep a close eye on this, because... Rain Allen is the number one contender for the world title. Whoever wins this... They will defend the Phoenix Pro Wrestling World Title against Great Allen at Swords of the Highlands. Oh, look at this! Kicking combination. And now again, whoa! Once again, that rolled up and oh! That was close! Now, Reptile here with a combination of his own. Yo, fans here. Flashback neck breaker. Look at this. And now the two of them trading the blow now. But let's all back up. Look at this now, dragon screw. And here come the kicks again. And jump up. Again with those knees! We're gonna just put more of that hurt on Reptile! But it's Reptile now that's putting the hurt on Jumper! Punches, kicks galore! Flashback now! 
Bank Breaker! And it is now Chopper! What? Now! Chopper struggling! Cover! One, two! Chopper kicks out! Drama! Now! Shots there with. Chopper in the tree of Warren, Reptile! Tossing Chopper to the outside and. Gonna buy himself some time! Down there, and Reptile is actually really stunned. Really dominate Chopper. Can we keep it going? Ah, oh, maybe not. Those monstrous chops. Twenty minutes See that Reptile already quite dazed. Chopper can take advantage of that. But Reptile! Going to try and throw things back in his favor. He's got to keep going though. He'll try and cover. One, two. That was close. More chops. That's now. Elbow drop. One, two. And again, Chopper kicks out. And now Reptile rolling it up. Two. Ow! And that was a close call. Reptile, he's getting close, but no cigar. Forget that acid spray. I can screw. Reptile is throwing everything he can right now at Lord Chopper. Trying to get it, gives him a punch for good measure. I'm gonna get Chopper in with the knee. Is it? You can see once again Reptile bleeding. They need a shot. There's the backhand. And again, a kick to the back of the head. There was submission here. It's not going to count. Top breaks free. Nice shot, Zab. Time he's going to try and keep going. We're still in the first fall here, ladies and gentlemen. Again, the acid spray. But it's Chopper responding. Those chops. That's all that. Trying a bit more of that offense. We can't capitalize on it. It's Chopper again. Oh man, look at this. Down again. Kick one. One, two. Kick out. Look at this. Straight up palm shot there. Jump up. Ow. Kick to the head. 
And now again, those knees! And now again, it. it's Ciampa who's favouring a match. That's how I'm going to try and turn it round though. That one there and again reptile now getting getting his fucking head kicked in. Again reptile pulls the world up though. Again he can't get the ball. Nicely done. Reptile again. Let's now try to get back and forth. Jana. Another cover. Two. And again, it's so close. And nine of these guys can score that winning fall. But it's first four, we're still in the first four! That's our uh, Wayne Egg! Maybe not the smartest decision! As a damn lot jump up! Next, let's kick Zed! That's all again! Right in front of the ref! And a dead chopper kicks out! What else has Reptile got to throw it at? Nice roll through and chopper down that armbar, that key lock. Shot that. Oh! Oh, that kick caught him and that's the first ball. And it's by knockout. Oh, boy. You're really going to have to fancy Lord Chopper's chances now! A win by knockout! That is really going to put the hurting on today. They've had a brief clean down, but already Chopper going to go back on the offense and Alright, oh, you, you can tell how much Reptile's hurting already. Chopper is going to be like a, a shark now, smelling blood in the water. I have got a gut feeling. And this match ain't going to go much longer. Reptile trying to fight. Everything in his power to try and keep this match alive. Look at this! There you go again! I need that suplex cutter! And a two count. He is trying to fight! But Chopper, you're just gonna fancy his chances now. He's got a four by knockout. Champa, he could just put the. Oh my God! That upper 
Backyard! Ow! Jesus Christ, how did Ramsaw pull that one out? Ramsaw! Ow! Ramsaw still has something! I'm a chop, I'm gonna look to shut it down! Maybe <laughs> oh no wait. Jana. Swing and miss. Chops. My lord job back. Need a valley throw. Uh. And that's all now. Bring everything in his power. He wants to keep this going as much as he can, but look at this. Oh, Chopper, he knows he just needs one more fall yeah, to secure man. the world title for himself. Got to retain his world title, I should say. And Reptile knows one more fall and it's over for him. A oh, nice roll up. That's yeah, all getting so close to actually getting a fall on on Chopper, but still he just can't do it. Suplex cut up! That's all! And Chopper kicks out! Jana. Again! And again he takes him down with a dragon screw. Reptile is going to have to throw anything and everything out at this one. The trading shots. Jana. Spinning back and chop. Jana. Now Reptile's in trouble. Oh wait, maybe not. Not a fine brain buster. Look in the back of the head. Reptile! Now generating something for himself. As that kick to the back of the head. We'll try it again. Again, chop up. But Reptile hasn't been able to score a full yet. 
It's been a long time! Wow! Oh! A big uppercut! One, two, and again! Everything the reptile is throwing out of his arsenal! Jabba is resisting! Is right now, jump up once again in control. Johnson, a reptile. What else could reptile throw it? A jump up. What else could reptile try? Jana. So far, nothing's worked! Nothing has kept him down! There's that suplex cutter again! The reptile can't take advantage! And again, Champa! Gets the strikes, but... The reptile is fighting back! He's not letting Champa have it easy! That. Again, the two of them. Trading everything out. Shot. And again, Chopper with those. Combination of moves. Jana. See that tile. Get that big uppercut. One, two, again. Oh no! I was gonna say it's weird because Reptile is actually holding the momentum, but. No, he isn't. Now to the outside. That's all a flashback neck break up. What else could Reptile throw? A lot of chopper, but he hasn't already tried. The only thing I can think of is he's just, he's just got to just repeatedly beat him down until Chopper stays down. Well, he's done that, but Chopper has always, always fought back. It's like he's fighting back now. We're yeah, back in the ring, first of all. 
They do so. Now, once again, that flashback neck break up. Missing the spray that time, but doesn't miss the belly to belly throw. Nice face crush up. Reptile again! Lands that suplex cut up! And he can't get the fall! I'm starting to think that Reptile isn't going to get anything out of this. Everything he tries, Chopper is... Everything he tries, yeah, Chopper is... Has had a response to! Tube. It's just gets the two and then Chopper kicks out. No, that was a long two. That's, that's in the territory that Reptile wants to be in. Ah, oh, but again. He gets that long two, and then just a regular one off the back of it. All up! And again, it's just a two. How much goddamn endurance does Lord Chopper have? Our martial arts kick. We are past 30 minutes in this fall. And again, Renzo can't get the fall. Oh, and he's throwing the wall at Lord Chopper. And Lord Chopper's just throwing it back to him. Throwing it back at him like it's nothing. Backhand chop again. Jana. And the cover. Two. That's on again. Oh man! Oh! Yeah, kick up! Open palm shot! I'm amazed they've gone through the 30 minute mark in this second fall. I would have thought that Reptile wouldn't have had long.
But he is still going! He's still in the fight! Moonsault Stomp! Kicks out of it and he's just gonna try and torment Reptile now. <laughs> and that's again now. Jump up. That open palm shot and Reptile trying to back off. Let's jump her in! No about strikes. And again! What's this now? Reptile! Three more again! Missile drop kick! Turn up. But look at this! Trampa still! Barely looking faced by any of Reptile's offense! Look at this again! A roll up! One, two! And again, Trampa kicking out! Reptile ranking the eye. And an uppercut! Oh, and Chopper! Chopper's knocked out! Well! We've had one knockout each! And against even what I was thinking in that. Reptile is taking it to a third and final fall! We are going the distance on this one! And I've now got to feel that the tide has shifted in Reptile's favor! Great buster! Oh, you see that they both rolled in pain! How much longer can these two go? Is my honest uh, is my honest question. There's that suplex cut up. Reptile. And you're gonna feel that things are in Reptile's favor. He's got to keep the offense going on Lord Champa. And that acid spray! Look at these shots. Uh oh. Nicely done. And now, Reptile again. Oh. And his knees again by, by Lord Jabba. And again, just, neither one can really keep the momentum Jana. on their side. Jana. Just flying all over the place. Brain Buster. That's out our way on the top again. That's a kick. 
Radzal tries it. Two. A two count. Oh, are we going to run into this again, Webb? This late judge, I'm amazed these two can still fight. I'm amazed Lord Chopper and Reptile can still go. There's that uppercut! This is a chance! No again! Jumper in those knees. And now rolling through into a modified, modified half Boston, but again, no submissions. The fall can only come by pinfall or knockout. Almost strike again. And a cover. Again. Turner. Again, where is Lord Chopper getting this from? Where is Reptile getting this from? Oh. Thought Reptile was getting things in his favor. Shut down again by Lord Chopper and the two of them trading blows back and forth. Back at Chop. Reptile putting a roll up. Yes. Dead job, Bob. Those jobs are rolling through. Submission again. Again, you can't get the four by submission, but you can certainly do damage. There's the uppercut. That's a boom! That's that martial arts kick! Two. Up there in the face. Good job, and now Reptile! He's got to try and keep this going. He can't allow Chopper a chance to breathe. We'll do that! Swing and miss. So I'm going to follow up. Elbow strike. A 
there it is. Reptile! Goes in with backhand chops. And an egg crack. And it's not holding the momentum, and every time it looks like Reptile's getting things, this game of Chapa shuts it down! I don't know how many times I can say that sentence, but it's what's happening! I can only call what's happening in the ring! And we're seeing two people tearing themselves apart! For the Phoenix Pro Wrestling World Title! Jana! Where's that? Jana! And then it's now Chapa! Now Reptile kicking out! Yeah, nah. Chop down again and chop her again. Again, reptile! There is no surrender in the heart of the Sateran. Up to the top! So oh, close yet so far! This crowd of steel pop, they are they are going nuts! Jana. And those chops! One, two, this has gotta be! No it isn't! Jana. How are they both still going? One, two. Again, a kick out. Another uppercut. One, two. Again, they can't score the ball. And I am. I am legitimately shocked. But these guys, it's not like they're getting repeated long with two counts. It's one, two, kick out. They're actually still kicking out at two, even though almost as if they're still fresh inside. And these guys have been going from one sudden is more than an hour. They are still going now. Look at this. Back at chop. Again though. Reptile not going down. <laughs> And Chopper doing everything in his power to put him down! It is just... <laughs> These two have done everything to one another! There's still way too much fight! That suplex cut it again, followed by that elbow drop! Again! Chopper kicks out! I don't think you can put this into words! How much these two are giving in this matchup?
Alt. Dad, look at this! Come on, boys, and just chopping the other loving shit out of Reptile! Again! Uppercut! Again! Chomp are not going down! I legit don't know how to respond to what I'm seeing at the moment. The fight in these two! I'll tell you one thing, they're both going to sleep like a log after tonight's match. They have fought each other to the... It feels like to the end of time! And that neck cracking! Oh, I was up with an uppercut! Okay, we're done and you can definitely feel that this is turning in Reptile's favour. I think Lord Chamba might be busted open. Jana. Chop down and look out there, ah, Reptile immediately responding. Yeah, Reptile, he's busted Lord Chamba open. Out. What? Out. Again. Jana. It's always when it looks like the momentum has shifted. It's always when it looks like the momentum has completely shifted. In one person's favour, it goes the other way! Reptile, again! That Mortal Kombat uppercut is not putting Chamba down! And then again, what can at this rate? Look at this now, Reptile! And Chopper kicks out. There's that suplex cutter again. Cover. No. Oh my word. Jana. Oh, I haven't felt. I haven't been this sh shocked with kickouts since the match at Revolt between Silver and Kit. The life threatening match where the two of them ripped themselves to shreds and yet they were still kicking out of each other's offense. Ah, that Phoenix Splash! Is this it? No! What? What? Are these guys... What is it going to take to keep one of these guys down? You almost want to... You almost want to know what's going on inside their minds at the moment because it must be like an orchestra falling down the stairs. And the stairs are made of sandpaper! And the orchestra's instruments are covered in barbed wire! Not there again! Oh, 
Wait a second, yeah, they're still trading shots back and forth! Let's oh, no. all add in that Insiguri kick! Again, Reptile lagging that. That one! Again! Chomp immediately responding! <laughs> Reptile! Again! That suplex is in a cut up, but you can't capitalize! Chopper again, throwing the offense in as if nothing was wrong! Chana. You can tell that both of them are now starting to really... They're starting to actually wear down a bit! But it looked like they were! Look at Chopper the way he's clutching himself! This might be the shift that Reptile needs! Maybe now he's in with a shot! There it is again! The suplex into the cut on one! Two! No! Jesus fucking Christ! What more is it gonna take? These two matches, well this last one, this last four has gone longer than the previous two have. Not the previous two combined, but... We're now at 40 on that clock. The first ball was around 33, the second ball was around 35, if I'm remembering correctly, but this, they've got even longer this time! I don't know how much of it they can take, that's what she said, ow, kick to the head! One of them is just going to have to say that they can't go any longer. Right now, Reptile now favoring himself. He's got to keep going though. He's, he's feeling things are in his favor. Uppercut. I'll try and keep going. He's. Yes, moves off, stop to the back! Look at this chopper still on the offense! I'm just amazed! This match is still going on! Neither one of these two! Neither one of these two want to give anything. Chopper, he only recently won the title. He's not going to want to lose it. The first time of asking. One, two. Again, kicking out. And Reptile, he's waited too long to get this kind of opportunity. He's waited too long to get this kind of chance again at a world title. Oh, he knows he might never get another shot like this.
again. Swing and miss. Ow! Over rolling through into that submission. Look in the head. Ahead and look out! Man! You can tell Chama trying to catch his breath! And that's gonna allow Reptile to capitalize! And Reptile actually appearing more fresh than Chopper at the moment! Look at this again though, just as I was about to say, maybe this is Reptile's moment! Maybe it might be! How long Reptile has waited! To get a wall tile around his waist! Zana! Oh, do you see that? Some of those chops again and... Again he is! Again he can't even capitalize because he's so worn out! This could really be... This could be Reptile's night! On again! DDT! Look at this! Chamba trying to go back on the offense and gets caught! Surely! Oh my god! What the fuck is going on? Jana. Ow! And now Chopper putting the fight back in! The Reptile again! He again lands it! One, two, and Chopper kicked out quicker that time than he did last time! How is Chopper able to do this? Shut up! I can't chop! And again, Reptile still! Still in the fight! I don't know how else to describe Jana. What is? Look out! One, two, and a cover reptile! There's that Mortal Kombat uppercut again! Look at this! I can't jump again! One, two, jump up! That top kicks out! Jesus fuck! Jana! Uh, 
Ciampa is now Ciampa. And again, Reptile still in the fight. Both of them still in the fight. And now rolling through for that submission. It's not going to count, but... Then you're going to do the damage. Kicking out again. And it's now Reptile. I'm starting to think now Reptile's starting to be worn out. Chopper that's looking fresh. Oh, no. Ow! Oh, this might now be turning once again in Chopper's favor. Look at this again, a submission. Shot that in the head. Reptile. There is way too much fight in him. And there's way too much in Jumper as well. 60 minutes again. We have passed 60 minutes in this matchup. From that clock, at least. But fucking hell, even if you... These guys have so rarely stopped. There's now Jumper. Oh, this might be what Reptile needed! Once again, Chomper struggling! This might be... This might be where the tide really changes! I think Reptile there... He might be starting to run a bit low again. Chopper is definitely running low. Or maybe he's not. Again, just when you think that they're running low on edge, just when you think they're going to be out of it, suddenly they get another burst of energy. Steel port. Here on center hooks, kick out. They're still kicking out of pinfalls at this late stage. This crowd of Steelport, they are on edge right now. Waiting the final fall when it comes. I mean, we might be here another another hour or so before one of these two could get another fall. That's how much they're willing to fight. <laughs> Chopper, he doesn't want to fail at the first hurdle. But defending his title, Reptile, he's waited way too long to get this chance. He might not get another. Wants to take it now and chop a kicking out. Kick to the head. And another kick to the head that modified into Guri. What can you say? Well, that hasn't already been said. For fuck's sake! What? How much more can these two give? The 
chops again. Ow! A low blow there by Reptile. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Again he gets tossed down by Lord Jumper. It's Lord Chopper again on the offense. Jana. Oh my god. Uh. Elbow strikes. Reptile! Martial arts kick! Surely this must back What? What? How much more will it take? How much more will these two go through? We've gone past the mark now. Where this third fall has been longer than the first two combined. Reptile. Jana. He has taken everything that Jumper has Jana. hit on him. Jumper has Take everything Reptiles landed on him, this might be! No it's not! Everything! Oh wait a moment! Ow a wheelbarrow slab! They surely have not got much now! Stop, stop! Look at that! Just jab there and follow me up! Modify DDT! Modify Brain Buster, whatever you want to call it! I don't think it matters now what the moves are called, it's... Throw anything at him and just hope it keeps him down! There's so far nothing can keep these two down! Jana. There it is now again! There is those kicks, but it's Reptile fighting back! I just, I just, I don't know what to say! Oh my god! Come on, I'm coming up a cup! Oh my, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be shocked anymore, should I? These two have thrown the world at one another. They have not let up at all. Hey, that acid spray, acid mist. Reptile still throwing the world. That chopper. And chopper still not giving up. Chopper throwing the one back at Reptile, and Reptile not giving up! Runs up and delivers the elbow! 
No, no. But it's Chopper again. Swing and miss. How oh, he doesn't miss this one. Kick again to the head. Jana. Chopper now looking up. It is again his favorite. Where Reptile down again. I don't think anywhere down in the world is going to keep one of these two down now. It's going to take something. It's going to take something mad to win this one. Have either of these two got anything left? Or are these two just going to fight forever? Yeah, nah. Bad backhand! Whoa. And it comes! No! Jesus fucking Christ! They are still going! Kick to the head. Straight punch there. I can really only just tell you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at two people that have thrown galaxies at one another and it's not kept them down. I, I, I can't. I, I swear to God, I can't. How many more? These two have thrown all their offense at one another, and it still hasn't kept them down. They're still trading blows. That has the backhand. And now jump up. Jumps again. Well, oh, Jabba landing that kick. Oh, this might be now. Ow! Oh! And that one big. Look at this though. Reptile still going. Well, oh, just what I think Jabba might have it sealed. Again, it's always. Ow! Look at him going for that acid spray, but he gets caught. Phoenix Splash! Three. That's it! Jumper has retained! What? What else do you say? They fought to the moon and back. But Reptile got caught off guard. Took that palm shot. And then the Phoenix Splash. Champa retains. Well. What a night we've had. This has been one of the craziest nights I have ever crawled in the over 15 years that I've been doing CAW. I don't think I've known a night like this one. That was insane. And that main event I don't think you need to say how how good that one was. I don't need to say anymore. Thank you for watching Phoenix Pro Wrestling Firestorm. I'm only by one. Peace out.